so when you do put them out, how long does it typically here? Like, it's about 30 minutes. To wake up and they got somebody taking them home and all that. They definitely Make sure they're not throwing them. Yeah, we usually use like purple fall so that we got pretty quickly, it's not too steady. Um, but usually about 30 minutes. And then plus it affects them so much more because you have to be NPO all day. So they're so tired and just want to eat and sleep. We can't decide which one they want to do first. <laughs> so yeah. So those are kind of two different things to do. But usually it's just... You know, one thing that I found that was really amazing is I'm meeting a lot of people in the, uh, you know, out in the lobby. You know, they'll come here from Wisconsin or they'll come here from overseas. Yeah. It's amazing how they'll go to Pasadena, get the MRN, they'll, they'll drive over here, talk to Dr. Fjord, and then an hour, two or three hours, they're down here. Yeah, they're, and they're yeah. getting yeah. The diagnostic, so they go from maybe yeah. going two, three, four, ten years not of not knowing what the heck's wrong with them, yeah. to, to, to knowing day. in like one day, not only getting a picture they never thought that existed in some places, but also getting an injection, which also gives you the diagnosis if it you know takes the pain away. So I've, I've, you know, coming from some cities that I've been in my long journey across this country and other countries, it takes two months to get an appointment. And then you have to get a ref referral to go get yeah, diagnostics. Yeah, we always pre-block everything for the patients, especially when you're coming from out of town. You don't want them to be like sitting around, waiting, not doing anything. Yeah, I mean, a lot of times it takes months if you go from your primary doctor to the specialist, and then they got to go through their channels to warrant an MRI, and then if you have insurance issues, and that's a whole big deal, and then it could yeah. be a year, year and a half before you even get to the diagnosis, which which means the yeah. problem could have gotten worse, and then changed, you, and then now you got to redo everything. Right, yeah. and then and then yeah. then it's a certain then of course until in my opinion a cookie cutter herniation where an MRI can see it. Anything outside the spinal canal, it's almost guesswork unless yeah. you got the MRI. In my opinion, yeah. Yeah. you can't see the picture; it's guesswork. So. Yeah. And like in your case, it your condition did change and get worse, yeah. a lot worse, because it took so long to get even the most basic diagnosis of piriformis syndrome, but then there's no way that they could have known about operator internus, the pudendal nerves. That, yeah, exactly. I mean, we found out at the beginning of this, I had six lumbar instead of five. The first steroid shot and my piriformis did nothing because we found out that my piriformis was actually two separate muscles. Well, the guy actually happened to hit the one that didn't have any nerves. Or, or didn't anything. have any effect on, yeah. Right, it was the wrong one. So yeah. we're thinking, well, then it can't be that, you know. And then, of course, if Dr. Filler found out and went, Yeah, know, that's why we have to use open MRI. Yeah. There's so, anatomical variants that you just can't, you can't anticipate. And you can see it the injecting yeah. yeah. exactly. So and then just by the time you you go through all that, you're just months of not you, that's if it goes right. That's if you are not yeah, and that's if you do have five lumbar because I had three MRIs. One from a foreign country that L five S one. And I have, you know, an L five, L six, L six, S two. You know, piriformis this, you know, nothing about side of notch yeah. or any irritations until the MRN. It's just seeing all these people that I talk to on you know, Dr. Miller's YouTube and stuff, all these people that just, you know, would have never, ever, ever figured out what's wrong with them. It's just a simple nerve impingement. Yeah. It makes so much sense. You know, your nervous system is like you know, electrical. Yeah. It's like your electrical system on a car. What if you couldn't see the electrical system on your car? How could your Mr. Goodrich fix your trunk or fix your cruise control if he didn't, if, it, if the electrical system was hidden? And it's the map, right? It's the map. That's yeah. basically what MRN is. Yeah. is it, allows the electrician to see the wires and if they're pinched, if they're cut, if they're whatever, you can go in and see, okay, is it what the problem is and get it fixed and so it's huge.